Hello, hello everyone, and uh, thank you for joining us to learn more about TA Top Tips and Teaching Assistant Essentials and how Twinkle can support your vital role in education. Um, today we'll cover various aspects of the TA role, which given its complexities and diversities has been a huge challenge for us to condense into just one workshop. We'll share essential tips, guide you towards career support and CPD and discuss teaching assistants crucial role in providing inclusive education along with social, emotional and mental health and wellbeing support. We'll also explore your vital role in inspiring a love of learning, how to stay updated with PA News and our mission to see this important role recognised and valued for their important work throughout the academic year. So get ready because we do cover quite a lot in this. Um, so there's lots of information coming your way, but don't worry, everything that we discuss and all the links um, will be provided because we will we'll be putting these um, slides onto site so you'll be able to download them. So firstly, I'd like to begin by introducing the Twinkle Teaching Assistance team. That's, uh, we're gonna be host this evening. That's me, Emma. Um, there's also Kat, Laura, and our TA Digest writer, Hannah. We're a small team of teaching assistants, HLTAs and teachers, and we know firsthand the growing responsibilities um, and the expectations of TAs, LSAs and HLTAs. We work with educators, professionals and specialists across the business and beyond, and we liaise with our TA communities as well to ensure Twinkle's diverse selection of resources are made with you in mind. Together with our TA Digest, we are dedicated to ensuring Twinkle is doing everything possible to support and value your role in education. We want to ensure you have access to information, activities and resources to save you time and help you make a difference for every child. So we're proud to be teaching assistants and we're really passionate um, to be working alongside our supportive TA communities to be a voice for all TAs, LSAs and HLTAs. So don't forget you can follow us on our socials at Twinkle TA and you can also join our supportive online communities. We've got a SEN TA community, a general TA community and also a HLTA community that you can join on Facebook. Some of you may or may not know that the TA role has changed a considerable amount over the past couple of decades. The early traditional TA may have been tasked with sorting displays, listening to children read or even organising stationery. The, the role has evolved and TAs are taking more responsibility now for teaching and learning, often leading classes, delivering interventions and providing vital support for the most vulnerable children. Schools are also now adapting terminology to assistant teacher to suit the role too. Below you can see a timeline of how the TA role has considerably changed over time and you can read more about the evolution of the TA role and the TA Digest article that's linked on the slide. Next slide. So as Laura's just discussed, the roles evolved greatly in recent years and so have its titles. So we use teacher assistant more as a sort of broad umbrella term that covers a wide range of job titles such as learning support assistant, assistant teacher, learning mentor, for example. Um, the TA role broadly entails supporting the academic and pastoral needs of children from EYFS right through to post-16. TAs tend to work under the guidance of classroom teachers and also the SENCOs, and they're the ones who will best decide how to delegate the TAs to meet the needs of the children in your setting. Some TAs might work one-to-one -one supporting children with SEND. Some of you um, might know that as Velcro TAs is sometimes what they're called. Other TAs provide a whole a more whole class approach to um, supporting children, sort of helicoptering around the classroom and supporting different groups at different points of the lesson. You might be asked for individual or group interventions, phonics groups or even nurture groups. Next slide, please. In many settings, teacher assistants can pursue an area of interest to allow for progression into more specialised roles. So some of these routes, um, you could, you could specialise in SEND, um, social, emotional, mental health uh, difficulties and um, go um, down the emotional literacy teacher assistant route. They're also known as ELSAs sometimes. Um, you can support children who might have English as an additional language. Um, and you might even have teacher assistants that decide to progress to a HLTA um, route, which allows them to cover whole classes. We do have a Teach Meet webinar that's all about um, how to gain HLTA status, which is linked on our slide when you get the slides later in the week. We've also been working on a new collection of TA career guides that you can see down at the bottom there. 
their um, purpose is to signpost new and experienced teacher assistants to essential areas of, of our website to best support whatever specialist role you're interested in, whether that's EAL, emotional literacy, send, um, and again, they're all linked on the slide for you when you get them. In this role, you are continuously learning, building a well-rounded toolkit of effective teaching strategies, practical tips, and a wide variety of educational resources to help you make a difference for every child. Every day as a teaching assistant is different and every child you teach is unique. Being flexible and adaptable is essential along with maintaining a reflective teaching practice. With Twinkle, you can explore TA essentials, events, planning, and activities to help you support every child. So in this section, we're going to share some TA organisation resources, some top tips and TA toolkits, and we're going to share where you can go to for subject knowledge and curriculum support. So firstly, uh, teaching assistant essentials. As Kat shared earlier, TA roles and responsibilities can vary greatly between settings. So you might be based in a single class, you might be working across different year groups and key stages. Your timetable could include one-to-one -one support, group sessions, interventions, class cover, as well as break duties, first aid, or involvement in breakfast and after school clubs. You might also work with various colleagues, liaise with outside professionals and communicate with parents. The role is diverse, it's demanding, and there is an expectation to be flexible and adaptable to last minute changes. But again, don't worry, Twinkle is here to support your vital role in education. And on the slide, you can see some of our linked resources to get you started. We've got timetables, we've got academic planners, uh, we've got this lovely new 52 weekly planner uh, that's got it's got 52 different quotes on it. Um, there's a motivational quote for every week as well. There's space for your to-do list. We've also got checklists, um, communication and teamwork um, resources and helpful lanyards. So there's plenty for you to try. And we've also got some TA organisation top tips to, to get you started and help you manage responsibilities and maintain a healthy work-life balance. So firstly, be prepared. Familiarise yourself with your school's policies, the layout, timetable and routines. This is really going to help you if you there's anything that changes in your role. You need to build relationships, create those supportive connections with your team and don't hesitate to ask for help or clarification when needed. Use organisation tools, all of the ones that I've listed before. Utilise these timetables, to-do lists, planners. Keep track of your schedule, your hours worked, and any additional cover. Remember, this is super important, any additional hours that you may do, they are voluntary and they shouldn't be expected. So that's why on everything that we share with you, like our timetables and things, we, we do have a space so that you, could, you can track those hours and you can keep track if you are doing extra. Prioritise your well-being. If you find that your workload is, is challenging or you're struggling with any of the responsibilities, make sure you speak with your senior leadership team for support and guidance. And lastly, this is super, super important. Responsibility does not solely fall on you as a teaching assistant. We've seen that this, this evolution of the TA role, there's more and more responsibilities falling your way. But ultimately, it is you should be working under the guidance of a teacher, senko or head teacher. It is the qualified teacher who is responsible and accountable for the pupil's attainment, progress and outcomes, assuring that the needs of all pupils with send are being met. So don't feel like it's all on you. This is it's a team approach and you should be working under guidance. Sorry, Mr. Slide. <clears throat> so it's not just TA organisation that we can support you with. It's also whole staff organisation. Um, so a staff notice board, that's a really good top tip that you can try. A dedicated TA notice board is a great tool to enhance staff communication and organisation. Notice boards can be customised to best suit the needs of the setting and keep you updated with policies, routers, meetings, events and important information. It can also serve as a space to share inspiration for each term along with top tips and motivational messages. The TA role and responsibilities can vary in each setting. Um, senior leaders and teachers are responsible for the deployment of teaching assistants in their setting and for ensuring that TAs fully understand the expectations and feel supported in every aspect of their role. As a TA, it is important to remember that senior leaders are there to support you, so make sure you go to them um, for support if you need it. 
Again, handy resources are linked on this slide deck, including our staff notice boards, effective communication resources, weekly top TA resources, TA guides and essentials. Another top tip as well is to take a look at Twinkle's topic and event calendar. It's a great tool to keep you up to date with upcoming educational events and related resources. Additionally, you can search by topic or event using the Twinkle search bar. So whether you're a new um, TA or you're an experienced one who's been doing it for a while, you're going to be constantly learning and keeping up to date on the best practice and strategies to support children with a wide range of needs. A lot of this knowledge will come from experience and through observing your colleagues. But if you know that you're going to be supporting a child with something that you're not familiar with, for example, dyslexia, um, we do have a wide collection of free TA top tips that are there to support you. You can find these by typing TA top tips into Twinkle search bar and you'll see that we've got top tips for supporting reading, dyscalculia, forming relationships with parents and carers, promoting pupil independence, supporting sending secondary and lots more. Nobody is expected to be an expert in every single area of support that you give children, but we do want to empower you by giving you the tools to support all of the children that you do encounter. You can see in the box on the left here that those buttons are going to take you to the best resources for supporting children across all phases of primary education. And most of those buttons, the resources on there are updated every week. Next slide, please, Emma. Thank you. We know that in some settings, TAs might be blessed with your own base or maybe an intervention room where you work and that you will have children that come to you for your sessions. But we also know that for many of us, we probably spend much of our time supporting children across the school and working in different areas, cloakrooms, corridors, wherever there's space to work. Because you're likely going to be on the move while you're supporting multiple children, it's a great idea to build up a bank of essential resources that you can take along with you. You can see on the right of the slide here, we've got a list of essential TA resources for EYFS, Key Stage 1 and Key Stage 2. And you can use these to create your TA toolkit. Nappy caddies are a great idea for an intervention toolkit. You can see the picture at the bottom. Um, you can use colour-coded files, labelled drawers, anything that's easy to transport around with you to keep you organised with your records and resources. In the little picture on the left, you'll see one of our principal TA toolkits. That particular one is for an emotional literacy intervention, but there's also TA toolkits for maths, literacy, phonics, pastoral needs, and there's also one for HLTAs as well. They've all been designed to be used to support learning of core subjects and social, emotional, and mental health development. They can be printed and reused, and there's also over a million resources on the Twinkle website so there's plenty more to help you build up your TA toolkit. Down the right of the slide there, you can see buttons that will take you to parts of the um, Twinkle website, such as intervention support, interactive games, secondary resources, EAL resources, and also send specific support as well. So as a TA, you're going to be required to have a wide range of subject knowledge from things such as enabling environments in the EYFS, behaviour management to send, and also the curriculum. However, this knowledge will develop and deepen over time, depending on the children you are supporting, the responsibilities you have in school and the classes that you're based in. It's not expected that you will know everything on your first day as a TA, but we have a wide range of support on Twinkle to help you with this. So firstly, you can explore the Twinkle subject leads page where you will find everything you need for teaching all subjects. And that'll be a really supportive place to explore depending on what you're gonna be teaching. Uh, Twinkle CPD offers a range of CPD in a variety of formats that will suit your needs too. You can also check out the Twinkle Concepts videos that are aimed at, they're aimed at children but can be really helpful to adults that want to brush up quickly on a particular concept that you might not have taught in a while or something that you might not be familiar with. A wonderful TA Digest writer Hannah has also written some articles where she shares top tips for teaching and supporting six subjects including science and computing, which are definitely worth checking out. We've also got a blog area with lots of in-depth blogs written specifically to help TAs, LSAs and HLTAs with specific year group or key stage subject knowledge. So once you've found out where you're going to be pay based, you can explore them a bit further. And our terminology and vocabulary toolkit that's uh, pictured in the bottom right um, is really, really popular with TAs and HLTAs as 
you can find all the most up-to-date vocabulary and terminology to use when teaching both maths, English and SPAG. The national curriculum covers so much and as a TA or HLTA you could be teaching or supporting loads of bits from it. It can sometimes feel daunting and hard to know where to start or even understand what progression looks like in a subject but at Quinkle we want to help you feel prepared and confident teaching any aspect of the curriculum. We've got thousands of resources that Twinkle can help you with um, for any key stage. You can explore Twinkle Planet that offers complete lesson packs, schemes of work. Um, they include presentations, guidance, display materials, all the linked resources and so much more to help you teach with confidence. And a top tip is if you type in curriculum aims in the Twinkle search bar, you can click on a subject click on a national curriculum objective and loads and loads of resource suggestions will appear that fit with that objective. So for instance, if the teacher that you're working with has asked you to take a small group of children out to work on the key stage one maths objective, read and write numbers from one to 20 in numerals and words, for example, you can click on that objective and a, an array of suggested resources will come up offering you some inspiration for a session that you're teaching. You can clearly see that from Kat and Laura's presentations that there are so many areas of expertise, subject and curriculum knowledge for you to develop throughout your career. Whether you're looking for support to help you prepare for a teaching assistant interview, get ready for a new TA role, or you're looking to explore career progression and continuing professional development opportunities, Twinkle offers plenty of guidance, top tips and CPD to help you build your successful career in education. Effective CPD enables TAs to stay current with teaching techniques, support school policies and contribute to raising educational standards. With Twinkle you can explore monthly CPD opportunities, TA career, job and interview support and HLTA status and career progression resources. High quality CPD can help progress your career, increase your knowledge and skills and help you build confidence to best support the children that you work with. So identify areas where you want to grow, whether that's behaviour management, support and send, or even improving subject knowledge, and tailor your CPD to meet these goals. High quality and role specific CPD and training can be hard to come by, especially if you're tasked with sourcing it for yourself. So if you're taking an active approach to your development this year, you can take advantage of our free on-demand TA CPD sessions. They cover topics that you can see here on the mind map, each session features a recorded webinar, a helpful blog that signposts you to further support and information, and also a printable CPD attendance certificate that you can add to your professional development file. You'll also find further CPD collections for inclusion, secondary, EAL and EYFS to name just a few. Twinkle CPD regularly hosts live CPD events for SEND, EAL and SALT, and you can find that by clicking on the logo there. Alongside training in CPD, you can also explore our TA workshops, which focus more on giving you the tools to build your TA toolkit and for supporting a range of needs, such as speaking and listening, reading, social, emotional, mental health, and EAL. Twinkle can support you right from the very beginning of your career, including applying for your very first teaching assistant job. We offer comprehensive job and interview support from researching the set researching the setting and preparing the perfect application to being ready for potential interview tasks or observed activities, all the way through to your formal interview and anticipating the questions you might face. Our goal is to help both new and experienced teaching assistants secure their dream TA, LSA or HLTA position. We provide a variety of workshops, articles and resource packs to help you feel prepared for anything and excel in your teaching assistant interview. We've linked our favourite resource packs, but you can find even more guidance on our career support page. We also recommend joining our supportive TA communities where you can seek interview advice, share your experiences and stay up to date with the latest interview trends. Something you might not realise that you have that we have on Twinkle is um, you can explore TA, LSA, HLTA and cover supervisor supply opportunities via the Twinkle Group's innovative new platform, Elevate Supply. Working on supply can offer you more 
a more flexible way as with Elevate, you can set your rate, set your work pattern and set your preferences in terms of settings. There are jobs available in a variety of settings, giving you opportunities to build on your skills and experiences. There are even possibilities uh, to work over the summer months, if that's what you prefer to do, with, twin with private day nurseries, residential school settings, and some SEND schools being open 50 plus weeks of the year. The qualities of a great TA are immensely valuable and transferable to a variety of important roles in education. This offers you numerous opportunities to find the right role and setting that suits you. It's important that you find a job that you love and we're dedicated to supporting you wherever your journey in education takes you. You can explore all the links to career opportunities on this slide, including some of the transferable skills that we talked about for other career opportunities as well. Uh, so we do have a whole selection of HLTA resources. Um, you can find them by typing teaching assistants into the Twinkle search bar and scroll down to the HLTA resources button that you can see just at the top of the screen. Next slide. If you have decided that you want to make the move and gain your HLTA status, we have a whole range of support available from helping you to evidence each of the 33 HLTA standards, identifying your area of expertise and support for observations. We have a whole host of resources to support anyone working towards gaining their HLTA status. We were joined by uh, Adam Chapman from the University of Northampton for a CPD event. And there's a link on the slide uh, where he shares what the HLTA status is and how you achieve it in his at his uh, university. Uh, we've also had um, a lovely lady called Miana from our HLTA community. She gained her status and she wrote us a blog um, and she ran through everything that she had to do to gain her status, um, which is a really insightful read if anybody is thinking about it. Um, and I would just say a little top tip is uh, just make sure that you look for an accredited course. Next slide. So then if you've had support from Twinkle whilst you're gaining your status, um, once you've then got it, um, a Twinkle subscription could be your best friend. Um, you can explore our with Twinkle, I'm prepared for my role as a HLTA resource that will literally show you how Twinkle can help you in your varied role um, from highlighting Twinkle Planet to help you plan, uh, Twinkle Originals for a, a last minute session using a story or even Twinkle Imagine to provide lesson inspiration using an image as a stimulus. The HLTA timetable could come in really handy for organising your week as a HLTA and I've highlighted there the daily instructions for a TA from a HLTA uh, can, support, can support communication really well. Um, and for those HLTAs with responsibility for covering classes at the last minute, uh, the picture up the top, um, we have resources to support you with that as well, including our Dash and Go resources. Uh, you can read more about our Dash and Go file in our blog, uh, where you can also watch a video of um, how I put my Dash and Go file together and the things that I included. Um, and our HLTA Facebook group is a really lovely community to join as well. As a TA, you play a crucial role in supporting inclusive education. TAs bring unique skills, qualities and flexibility, which allows settings to provide time and specialist provision for individualised and targeted learning. A key aspect of being an educator is the ability to reflect, adapt and improve, ensuring that we can offer the best possible support for every child. You can explore how Twinkle can support your inclusive practice with specialist resources and regular CPD. So what is inclusion? In general terms, inclusion is defined as the state of being included or being made a part of something. Inclusion is about honoring diversity, not ignoring it. In the classroom, it is about responding to the needs of individual children, ensuring that all children attend are, and are supported to learn, contribute and participate, regardless of individual need, background or circumstances. Every school should be an inclusive setting, giving students of all abilities and individualised needs the best possible opportunities. 
The SEND Code of Practice clearly states that teachers are responsible and accountable for the progress and development of the pupils in their class, including where pupils access support from teaching assistants. However, teach teachers would struggle to fulfil this responsibility without the dedicated work of TAs. With the increasing presence of specialist TA roles, such as those supporting EAL, SEND and social, emotional and mental health, it is evident just how vital TAs are in promoting inclusive education across a variety of settings. Twinkle Inclusion provides a range of innovative and engaging resources, all created by specialists, to empower special educational needs and disabilities, English as an additional language, speech and language therapy, occupational therapy and pastoral support. We also have the handy guides, which I think Kat briefly mentioned, um, to support these specialist roles, such as an EAL TA, a SEN TA, and Emotional Literacy TA. They're designed to help you best navigate the website to find the most relevant resources for your role and the needs of the children that you are supporting. You can also explore our TA Top Tips, including top tips for working with children one-to-one -one and supporting children with special educational needs and disabilities. TAs can can really make a difference here, particularly with learners with SEND, as you will really get to know the pupil and their family. You'll think through the eyes of the pupil and advocate for their needs. You'll know their EHCP targets and you can keep track and, and feedback to the teacher. You'll promote and work towards independence so every child can fulfil their potential. You might even meet with outside professionals and offer specialist support. As a TA, you're at the heart of building good working relationships with colleagues to ensure children's needs are being met. To continue to do this effectively, you need to, you need to make sure that you can reflect and adapt and ask for training and, and CPD if you need it. Okay, so on to interventions. So as part of your TA role, it's common to be tasked with running regular interventions with um, individuals or groups of children to support their specific needs, reinforce key concepts, um, and offer additional practice and overlearning opportunities as well. Interventions should be chosen by the class teacher and or the SENCO based on the needs of the children. TAs may be responsible for the planning, preparation and monitoring of those interventions and should really be given um, time within their contracted hours to do so. Uh, Twinkle Booth that you can see there, that's um, our intervention hub that contains planning, interactive and printable activities and resources, as well as monitoring and progress materials too. It's ideal for TAs running interventions in any of the areas listed here, such as dyslexia, handwriting support and SATS boosters. And speaking of SATS, if you are tasked with running booster sessions ahead of any key assessment periods, we've created some assessment prep toolkits. Um, we've got one for the key stage one phonics screen and assessment the year four multiplication and tables check and the year six and optional year two sets as well. And if you've got any um, children with social, emotional and mental health um, needs, you'll find pastoral interventions such as a 10 session intervention for areas of regulation, sensory circuits that um, aim to support children with sensory processing difficulties and also wellbeing interventions for EYFS, key stage one and key stage two as well. So we've got some top tips here that um, will help ensure that your interventions are impactful and effective. So first of all, it's important to know the children that you're going to be supporting. So speak with the class teacher, find out what their targets are, what needs they've got, and get to know the child as well, their interests, likes and dislikes, and establish a really good connection. Know the focus of the intervention. What progress are the children expected to make? What, uh, what should they be able to do by the end of the intervention that they couldn't do at the beginning? These targets should be SMART targets. Find out where you're going to be working for your interventions. Ideally, this is going to be a learning environment with minimal distractions. Make sure that that area is equipped with everything that you and the children will need to carry out your sessions. Be consistent with behaviour expectations. Be clear on the outcome that you want the children to achieve each session and communicate with that that with them too. If the intervention that you're going to be running is new to you, speak with colleagues. There might be TAs in your setting that have run the intervention in the past that you could get some advice from. Or if you think that you might need some further support or training, don't be afraid to ask your SENCO to set that up for you. 
And if you'd benefit from more information about running successful interventions, you can have a look at our um, on-demand CPD session. And we also got um, a free intervention top tips linked on the slide as well. Next slide, please, Emma. Thank you. So children have individual needs and they will all learn in different ways. And part of our role involves finding ways of learning that works best for individual learners. And that's especially applicable for children that have got um, special educational needs and disabilities. The DfE has grouped the SEND code of practice into four areas of support. There's communication and interaction, cognition and learning, social, emotional and mental health, and sensory and physical needs. You'll find that Twinkle Inclusion offers specialist resources that will form the basis of all support that you give those children through their interventions. There's teaching strategies such as colourful semantics that support sentence level work, blanks, like, blanks levels which um, help support language development, sensory stories for children with sensory needs and more which you can see there linked on the right of the slide. So every child is new, unique and what works for one child might not work for another. So when you're supporting children, especially pupils with SEND, reflective practice is really important. But why? So most importantly, you can identify what works and what doesn't. You can build relationships, not just with the children, but with the other TAs, educators and other professionals. It increases innovation. It makes you think about the learning differently. You can tailor learning to children's needs. Personal and professional growth. What are your strengths, weaknesses, areas for improvement? You get better engagement in lessons, more fun and the learning, lots of learning taking place. And do you think that you're reflective enough? So if after that question that I've just asked, you maybe think that you might not be reflective enough, how can you develop your reflection skills? So after a lesson, a session or a day, ask yourself some of these questions. What worked well? Why do you think that was? What did the children get out of it? What didn't work and why? How could you improve the activity or the learning experience? How do you ensure a safe and inclusive learning environment for all children? Are the activities experience that you're providing for children developmentally, developmentally appropriate and engaging? And what are you going to try next time? You can be an advocate for, for SEND pupils and feedback to the teacher using our feedback to the teacher resource. Let them know how the child or the group of children responded to the task. And just remember, it's OK to say that that didn't go so well or I think we need to try this next time and work together with the teacher to find something that works for the child or the group of children. But remember, it's a class teacher that takes overall responsibility. Our reflection journal is also a really, really nice way to practice um, your reflection skills. I know it can be really hard, but try to make time in your daily routine to reflect as this is only going to make you a better practitioner. And a little top tip, try and take part in peer observation. Go and watch other TAs or teachers or a learning mentor and let them observe you too. You can provide constructive feedback and then you can all learn from each other. So we, we've said this a lot. Every child is unique. I think we all know that. And to ensure that your knowledge, phrasing and the support you provide is fully inclusive, it's really important that you have regular access to CPD. This can come from your workplace, colleagues, local authority, DfE or an outside provider. We all know that the education landscape and what it means to be inclusive is constantly changing and it's so important that you are kept up to date. Twinkle has a whole range of support and CPD dedicated to inclusion in schools to support you to make independent learners. You can explore uh, by using the buttons on this slide, you can explore a comprehensive set of CPD modules that contain so many useful strategies and information that all relate to inclusion in schools. You can also explore all the upcoming Teach Meet Live events by typing Teach Meet into the Twinkle search bar and the whole list will come up. Um, and you can also document all your CPD on our CPD record. As educators, we are responsible 
for the holistic learning of pupils, not just their academic achievements. By providing children with safe, nurturing environments that prioritise their social and emotional well-being, we can create a foundation upon which academic achievements can be built. Young people learn best when they have strong self-esteem, feel a sense of belonging and can meet challenges with resilience. We know that our TA community are passionate about making wellbeing a priority for both children and staff. That's why we share regular wellbeing inspiration, CPD and resources to use in your setting. You can explore some of the ways Twinkle can help you prioritise wellbeing, including building relationships and nurturing environments and prioritising the wellbeing of staff and children. Every child you teach is unique and the positive relationships you build with them are most important. The flexibility of the TA role allows you to truly get to know each child and best support their individualised learning journey. As a teaching assistant, you are often the vital bridge between pupils, teachers, outside professionals and parents. The relationships you build with your colleagues, your, your class and their families are what makes the important communication and effect, effective teamwork possible. As a TA, you make a lasting positive impact on the children you teach, their families, your colleagues and the wider school community. We've got some top tips to help you build relationships. These are just a few. So firstly, you need to know your pupils. You need to understand their interests, aspirations and backgrounds to build a rapport and create a sense of belonging. You, need to, you can use this knowledge to make learning relevant and anticipate their needs. You need to be authentic. This sounds really simple, but it is probably the most important one to show a genuine interest in your pupils and a passion for the subjects you teach. You need to show that you care. And I think teaching assistants are brilliant at this, creating a warm, supportive classroom by actively listening to children's thoughts, feelings and concerns, showing empathy, validating emotions. Be consistent you might be the most consistent adult for that child. Consistent routines provide security. Establishing daily rituals such as morning greetings, circle times and clear classroom expectations can help children feel secure and confident. You need to aim for positive interactions and model these good relationships. Build positive relationships with children and lead by example. Show children how to interact positively by demonstrating respect and kindness in your interactions with colleagues and parents. And be a friendly face and a source of calm. I've linked some really great CPD events for you to find out more information about how you can build positive relationships. Um, we've got ones about relationships, behaviour and school avoidance, also transforming relationships through nurture and practical approaches for classroom relationships. Teamwork really does make the dream work. As TAs, not only do you build important connections with children, but also colleagues, outside professionals and parents and guardians. It really is a team effort to do the best for every child. And team building is really important. Building meaningful connections with colleagues can reduce workplace stress and support staff wellbeing. Uniting team members will ensure everyone can work together as effectively as possible. Getting to know your team strengthens employee communication and helps to build trust. Team building breaks down barriers between employees and leadership and encourages open conversations. Staff should feel comfortable to make suggestions and ask for support if needed. Strong relationships with colleagues make work more fun and help staff feel appreciated. And being knowledgeable of colleagues' skills can help maximise their potential in school. So if you've got some strengths, you've got things you're really passionate about, you're really good about, make sure your senior leadership team know about that because they can utilise that in your role. Effective communication and teamwork is also helpful as working together can help you manage your workload. Working in an effective team is motivating. Collaboration with colleagues cultivates creativity. And as Laura mentioned earlier, a top tip is sharing and supporting good practice, which can help improve each other's performance. Effective teamwork in school models to children how to work together. It promotes positive relationships between children, staff and the wider school community. 
Again, I've linked lots of helpful resources here. We've got TA organisation, HLT toolkit, um, and effective teamwork resources that can help you with all of this. Um, so prioritising children's wellbeing through nurturing environments. Uh, firstly, you can check out Twinkle Life that has a massive range of resources to help and support you create nurturing environments for children. But what can you do as a practitioner? So be a source of safety and security. Understand that behaviour is communication. Have a growth mindset. Have restorative conversations. Be an active listener. Um, and you can also read our teaching assistance guide to nurture um, for a more in-depth look. And there's just something for you to think about in your classrooms. Next slide. So what can you do in the classroom to support children's wellbeing? So you can give children time to think about their emotions. It's quite hard to process them. So give them time to think. Uh, create a nurturing classroom ethos, offer a, um, a range of supporting ways for children to understand and express their emotions. There's a couple of pictures there. Uh, there's the, um, the mood worry monsters that you could create. I've got them all up here that are a lovely way for children to show how they're feeling. Um, you could also adopt the junk approach. Now, if you don't know what this is, uh, the Joy of Not Knowing by Marcelo Starikoff. Um, it, it's got a very explicit focus. Children must not know something to learn it. And schools must provide learners with everything they need to, to develop intrinsic motivation to learn. And the, the link to find out more about the junk approach is linked on the slides. Um, and you can also explore our With Twinkle and Prepared for Emotional Literacy as it's the perfect guide to see how Twinkle can help you support children's SM, SEMH needs. Next slide. So the top tips create for creating a safe and secure learning environment by the lovely, wonderful Gavin Heyman, who's joined us for quite a few uh, CPD events and he's, he's brilliant. So here are his top tips. So create a classroom environment where the young person or people feel safe in asking for help and model this with the other adults in the in the classroom. Have a consistent approach to rules and expectations in the classroom that can really help a child develop a sense of safety. These are things Emma's also gone over as well. Uh, offer encouragement and affirmations during those challenging times um, will help children develop a positive relationship with you as an educator. Show that you value the child's safety by insisting that they wash their hands after going to the toilet or wearing a coat on wet, cold days or taking fire drills seriously. And number five, do all you can to promote a kind, respectful and inclusive environment where all children feel safe and valued. And the button there links to all of that wonderfulness that Gavin has shared with us before. So, as we've said previously, strong relationships between staff are an, are an important part of embedding a culture of well-being and respect that ensures that all staff feel valued and supported throughout the year. Life is Twinkle's Wellbeing Hub, where you'll find plenty of support for children's and staff's well-being. It has tools to help you establish a healthy relationship with your own well-being during term time, as well as during the holidays, where sometimes a lack of routine and lack of interaction can be difficult for some of us. We have some ways here that a whole school approach to well-being can be embedded in your setting. Build a supportive care and ethos and environment, show respect and kindness and create a sense of belonging for all staff. And this will also serve as a model for demonstrating to the children how they should treat others as well. Have an open door policy where staff know that they can come for support. This goes for SLT, teachers, fellow TAs. Having open communication is vital. Provide opportunities for reflective practice. As Laura mentioned earlier, not every lesson is going to be successful and that is okay. Use it as an opportunity to reflect and adapt. Encourage a good work-life balance. Always acknowledge the goodwill of colleagues and don't ever expect them to work past their hours. 
Make sure that your class teacher knows your contracted hours and if you feel that your workload is unachievable during that time, communicate your concerns with um, the class teacher or Senko and work together to find a solution. Celebrate all staff, recognise their value and hard work because everybody in school is important. And you can see on the right of the screen here, we've got one of our CPD webinars, um, which shares advice on building collaborative relationships between teachers, uh, TAs and senior leadership as well. What truly matters is being present, supporting each individual's learning journey to the best of our abilities and celebrating their efforts along the way. As teaching assistants, you have the opportunity to truly individualise children's learning by tapping into their interests. You can get creative, making learning engaging and fun. You can build confidence, encourage curiosity and exploration and help develop a positive attitude towards education. In your role as a TA, you can inspire a love of learning that will last a lifetime. You can explore some of the ways that Twinkle can help. Twinkle can help you um, share individualised learning, engage reluctant learners, and inspire you with learning through play. As we mentioned before, building relationships is crucial. It's the foundation to everything that you do. It's important to learn about a child's personality, their personality, likes and interests, and use these to unlock their path to learning. This approach is particularly helpful when revisiting or overlearning concepts, allowing you to get creative and keep it engaging and interesting. The flexibility of the TA role provides more opportunities to individualise learning experiences, deepen the child's connection to learning and nurture intrinsically motivated, curious and lifelong learners. A great example of this is Reading for Pleasure and Laura, our HLTA, is a passionate advocate for it. By taking the time to understand children's reading habits, what they enjoy, their likes and dislikes and the formats they prefer, you can use this knowledge to build interest and engagement in reading. The hook into a book boxes are a perfect example of this approach in action. They provide an excellent way for teachers and TAs to engage children in stories through their personal interests. For instance, this dinosaur themed box that you can see in the picture is a fantastic way to capture the attention of a child who might love dinosaurs. These boxes can be used in the classroom, they could be sent home and they'll just deepen children's love for reading. This type of individualised learning centred around the child's interests can be applied to many key skills and subjects to engage learners and make education fun. I've linked some helpful teaching strategies, including EYFS, CPD, Reading for Pleasure. We've also got a digital, digital hub. Um, but the possibilities with this, they really are absolutely endless. You can search the website by interest, you can get creative, you can tailor activities to each child's unique needs and preferences. And Twinkle's brilliant for this because we've got millions of resources. So there's definitely something for everyone. So as Emma's just said, establishing that solid relationship is key to making progress and having a successful year with the pupils that you're supporting. Some children might appear disengaged with their learning and as TAs it's going to be part of our role to discover what it is that engages those reluctant learners and we've got some steps here that can help you uh, do that. So first we've got to find out what it is that's causing the, that disengagement. Speak to the child, find out what's causing them to feel a certain way about their learning. Find a way that motivates them. So that motivation can be extrinsic, which is an immediate reward, such as a sticker or a stamp or, you know, a smiley face on their reward chart. Or motivation can be intrinsic, which is more a sense of pride in what they've done, that personal satisfaction and desire to improve. And that's something that does take time to embed. So find out what works best for the learner that you've got. Ensure their basic needs are met. Have they been to the toilet? Are they too hot, too cold? Are they emotionally regulated? Or is something that happened at playtime still affecting their focus? We've already mentioned how important it is to build a positive relationship with the child. If you know, if they know, sorry, that you are interested in them, they're more likely to respond positively to the support that you give. And finally, use positive verbal praise and positive body language. Celebrate the successes no matter how small they are. There's a really useful TA Digest article linked on this slide here, which goes into more detail about how you can engage reluctant learners if that's something that you think you'd benefit from reading. 
So just linking on from what both Emma and Kat have just talked about, once you have built up a relationship with the children that you're working with, you're aware of their interests um, and how best to engage them. You can then create meaningful learn learning opportunities that they are going to love. So for children, playing is a way of exploring the world around them and making sense of different scenarios or situations. If learning can be done in a fun way, children are more inclined to participate and get the most out of the intended activity. Children of all ages can benefit from learning through play and it is very much encouraged. But as you'll all probably know, EYFS settings build this into their daily planning. Continuous provision enables practitioners to create engaging ways for learning to take place through play opportunities. Large activity trays can be really popular. Um, you can explore the collection via the button that I've linked on this slide. Um, the children can choose what they wish to do and their skills are also developing all at the same time. Uh, you can also explore the EYFS collection, which has tons of resources, um, again, by using the button that I've linked. And creating opportunities for outdoor learning is a wonderful way to engage children and make them think that they're playing instead of learning. On this slide, there are two examples of some outdoor learning. We've got um, the turtle sandpit um, where um, children are developing their phonic skills in the sand, matching the ice cream to the cone. And, and also the picture at the bottom is uh, developing fine motor skills where the children are learning to egg their washing out, which I'm sure all their, their guardians and parents and carers would absolutely love. Um, you can also, you can find more active phonics ideas and inspiration for de uh, developing children's fine motor skills in our handy blogs uh, that I've also linked there. Um, also, the nature journals are also a wonderful way for children of all ages to learn from the outdoors. They are packed with so many activities that will just deepen that love of nature whilst learning too. Uh, you can also explore our outdoor learning opportunities for Key Stage 1 and Key Stage 2 uh, using the links on the slide. And just a little top tip, make sure that you always think about the outcome you want the children to achieve or work towards before creating the wonderful setup. Next slide. And here are some top tips before you get started with learning through play. So ensure that you speak to the class teacher about it. The class teacher is responsible uh, for the planning and progress of all pupils in their class. So it's important that if you feel play-based learning could be really beneficial, that they're on board with planning and preparing the resources to facilitate that, which all links in with um, the individual individualised learning and you building up those relationships to know what's going to work. Uh, even if you've got children in key stage one or key stage two or above. So know what the learning outcome and curriculum aim is that you're working towards, find out which stage of play the child is in, so you can plan for progression into cooperative play. Uh, speak to the class teacher or staff working in, EY, EY, in your EYFS setting uh, for ideas on how to use learning through play in your classroom. You can also discuss appropriate resources and arrange borrowing anything. Uh, that you think might be beneficial, with their permission, of course. Um, enjoy. Play-based learning allows you as the adult to fully participate in the learning journey too and can enhance working relationships with the pupils that you're supporting. Uh, if you're interested in finding out more about the research into learning through play, the stages of play and how to develop language through play, uh, you can explore the EYFS CPD hub or take a look at the TA Digest. Um, you can also see examples of learning through play in the pictures on the right hand side. Uh, the top one aims to develop children's positional language skills in maths uh, through the narrative of one of the wonderful Twinkle original stories, uh, whilst also being a, a really nice sensory activity too. And then the bottom picture uh, could be one of those individualised learning activities uh, for somebody that loves uh, building blocks um, and they're also practising their phonics. Uh, and building up words using the blocks um, and I've linked up uh, the EYFS uh, CPD link where you can find loads of CPD on the EYFS reforms, planning from observations, assessment Ofsted, children's thinking skills and child development theory plus a whole host more.
that page is packed full of uh, of goodness. Next slide. Hello, it's finally my turn. Uh, so, hi, I'm Hannah. I'm a teacher turned journalist, and I am the lead writer and editor at TA Digest, which is something that has been mentioned quite a lot throughout the previous slides tonight. Um, before this, I was a teacher for eight years, and throughout my teaching career, I worked with the best teaching assistants. So, I know exactly how hard you all work and the massive impact that you have, not just on the pupils that you support, but on the teachers that you work alongside too. Um, so, now I'm part of the TA team here at Twinkle. And I'm also part of the Digest team, which for those of you who might not know, that is Twinkle's newsroom. So my job is to keep TAs just like you up to date with the very latest education news and updates that are specifically relevant to you as teaching assistants. Um, TA Digest is really unique in that no other competitor or news outlet writes daily articles just for TAs. And I love that I get to be the champion for you. Um, so articles that I publish cover a range of different content and it might include the breaking news from the government, from Ofsted, um, union information, including updates on pay, interviews with experts in their field, interviews with TAs themselves and answers to all of your frequently asked questions, which might include getting answers or clarification from the Department for Education themselves. Um, every article that I write and publish aims to inspire, support and inform you in your TA role so you can do what you do best, which is teach and support learning, whilst also being informed about everything going on in the wider education world. TA Digest aims to be the voice for all TAs, raising the teaching assistant profile, highlighting your growing responsibilities and ensuring that TAs are seen and valued as the vital professionals that you are. Through my role, I've attended, networked and reported on some great events with many more to come this academic year. And the very best part of it is for you, it is completely free. The uh, Digest articles are free to read. Um, as you can see on this slide, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn. But all TA Digest articles have my email address on them too. Um, the daily articles will be published on my socials and across the TA team socials too. So be sure that you're following all of us so that you don't miss out on anything. Um, you can find TA Digest by searching TA Digest in the Twinkle search bar. And I just want to add that my inbox is always open on all of the platforms. So if you have any questions, I'm always happy to answer them. And if I can't, I'm always happy to try and find the answers for you. We're on to the last bit now, I promise. It was so much to fit in. Um, so teaching assistants go above and beyond for children they teach, their colleagues and the wider school community. From National Teaching Assistance Day in September to Twinkle Zone end of year TA celebration in July, there are many opportunities for teachers, leaders and parents to show they value the important contributions of teaching assistants everywhere. At Twinkle, our goal is to ensure you feel valued and supported every day of the school year, not just during special thank you events. We'll just briefly share now how Twinkle supports TAs to feel valued and, and supported throughout the academic year, um, how you can celebrate teaching assistant roles and take part in key celebration events, and how we aim to support the professionalization of the TA role. So as we've mentioned a few times this evening, strong relationships between staff are so important in embedding a culture of well-being and respect and that ensures that all staff feel valued and supported throughout the year. There are steps that school leaders can put in place to support that in your setting. They should ensure that TAs fully understand expectations and feel supported in every aspect of the role. This should come from leaders and teachers regularly checking in with TAs and TAs also being open with communicating with their colleagues. Communication is key. You should be provided with suitable working environments. We know that schools can't magic up extra space, but having a suitable area where you can work with your children with minimal distractions is going to help them make the most of your support and also empower you to fulfil your role effectively. School leaders should encourage and facilitate your professional development through whole school training or sending staff, including TAs, on courses that are applicable to your role in school. Having an open door policy where all staff feel comfortable speaking to leaders about issues, concerns or even seek support and also on the flip side of that, celebrate achievements, both personal and professional because ultimately TAs are much needed, passionate, skilled and dedicated professionals that are valued members of the teaching team. Don't ever forget that. So 
At Twinkle, we are passionate about celebrating the hard work and dedication that TAs, LSAs and HLTAs show each and every day. So we've created um, a collection of resources to celebrate you and the difference that you make every day. So you can share these links with everybody that you work with uh, that can show you how amazing you are and that how valued you are. Uh, we've got um, a little top tip down at the bottom. Uh, we've got loads of posters. They can make really great gifts if you want to thank a, a TA that you work with. Um, and one of Hannah's TA Digest articles, which highlights uh, the research, identifying the seven qualities of great teaching assistants. You can explore till your heart's content. Um, and you can also watch a video of how I surprised the TAs that I used to work with uh, for National Teaching Assistance Day. Uh, the link's on the slide. Um, and don't forget to join us each year for our end, our end of the school year TA celebration. Well, just to wrap it up then, I think it's clear from everything that we've discussed in this presentation, and I think this presentation could be days long because there is so much to pack in for teaching assistants and everything that TAs do. It's, it's so clear to see how important the TA role is. Um, and it's important now that the wider education community get together um, to ensure teaching assistants are seen and valued as essential education professionals and recognised for their important work throughout the academic year. At Twinkle, we see TAs as teachers in their own right, each bringing unique skills and qualities that enhance inclusive education and improve learning outcomes for all children. We're honoured to be your voice advocating for the professionalisation of this vital role and ensuring your important work is properly recognised. While school leaders, teachers and parents can play a key role in ensuring you feel appreciated, recognition must go beyond just words. We've seen firsthand the growing demands and responsibilities placed on TAs and we understand that to make a real difference, your pay should reflect these responsibilities. Our TA Digest is dedicated to keeping you informed about union efforts, any academic research and ongoing advocacy for the professionalisation of TA roles. Whether you're working in early years, primary, SEN settings, secondary or beyond, your contributions just make a huge impact. You're making a massive difference to so many children and their families year on year. So wherever you are, we're here to support your vital role in education. Thank you so much for everything that you do. Uh, and thank you very much for joining us today. If you want to know more about Twinkle, you can get started with, um, we've got a Twinkle free trial. There's a 30 day free trial. So if you do want to have a go, um, and have a look if you've not used it before. That's a great way to get started. You, if you sign up as well, even if this is with a free account, you can sign up as a teaching assistant and we will send you a weekly TA newsletter, which is packed full of TA essentials, CPD and inclusive education resources. So we try and give you as much as possible um, to support your diverse and demanding roles. But thank you so much for everything you do. And thank you for your interest today. I'm sorry we've gone over a little bit, but there is just so much to talk about with TAs and we found this really difficult to get it into one slide and one session. It took us absolutely ages, so I hope it was helpful. Mm -hmm.